time today, except for it's just the first time for you because I already shot this video once and it completely deleted. Um, I kind of took a little break for a little bit. Um, things got busy if you don't know I had a baby four months ago. And um, then I fractured my spine. So <laughs> things have been a little crazy, but I'm back and I'm ready to start making content for y'all again. I have loved being on YouTube. It's new for me. It takes a little bit more work than TikTok does. But I'm happy to be here. And so today we're going to be talking about how I became an author at 23 years old. I published a book. And I think it is a crazy story. I don't know that it's the experience for everyone. And so I'm hoping that you all think it's as interesting as I think it is. Now hopefully I will not forget what I'm going to say since this is my second time recording this video. And hopefully I will not delete this video again on my computer. <laughs> oh, that made me very upset. Anyway, so this is my book, Finding Freedom. Um, I published it in January of this year. It's kind of like, it looks white. I'll put a picture of it up here. I published it in January of this year, and um, honestly, the story behind it is a little crazy. It's kind of like a memoir, but also similar to a Christian book. I talk about finding freedom in a self-love culture. This book is available on... Uh, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, basically anywhere you get books, you can get this book. And so if you want to buy it, you should buy it and support me. I'd be very thankful. Um, but it's Finding Freedom in a self love Culture. And I kind of dive in using personal experiences as well as scripture to share how I found freedom in my early 20s. And so my table of contents is freedom from sin, freedom from self, freedom from my old identity, freedom in the midst of obedience, Freedom and vulnerability, freedom and love, freedom and loneliness, freedom and waiting, freedom from shame, freedom from comparison, and freedom and salvation. And so these core topics I break into basically telling the story of my life, but also relaying it to popular characters in the Bible and how they continue to praise God and worship God and how they found freedom in their calling. And so when I felt God calling me to read this book, write this book, I did not want to do it. Hands down, I did not want to do it. And I told God no over and over and over and over again. And I said, I'm not the person. I have ADHD. I can't finish a project. This is not, I can't do something long term. You want me to write a whole book? I'm telling you, I gave God every single excuse that you've ever heard. Because this was not what I saw my life being. I didn't see myself being an author. And so I ran from it for a really long time. And then one day in Sunday school, they said, delayed obedience is disobedience. That hit me so hard. That was like a stab in my chest. I was like, I know the Lord has been calling me to do this for months. I've been saying, no, it's not for me. And I was running from it because it's scary. I'm scared of failure. And the idea of publishing a book was this big, huge idea that I had nowhere to start. So, of course, I didn't want to do it because I'm someone... When I do something, I want to follow it through, and I was really afraid, and I kind of carried this burden of starting this book and not finishing it and being embarrassed. And so, I sat down, and I finally put my yes on the table, said, okay, Lord, I'll do it, and I wrote this book, cover to cover, in three weeks. The Lord... I mean, he gave me the strength to do it, he gave me the words to do it, he gave me the ambition to do it, and it happened, okay? And so I started looking into some publishing companies, and I would have loved to publish traditionally. That is, if you're not familiar, um, that's when you, they pay you for your manuscript and publish it that way. The only issue with that form of publishing is that you don't get full reins of it, okay? So you don't get to make all the decisions for it because essentially they own your manuscript and you also don't get as much of money based on sales. And so I went through, it was like kind of mixed. It wasn't complete self-publishing, but it's, it's, I don't even know what it's called. Maybe assisted publishing. I really have no clue. Anyways, I went that route about it and, um, I found Trilogy Publishing or TBN Publishing, and they're a Christian publishing. They published some of like Max Lucado stuff, those things like that. And I submitted my manuscript to them. And going into this, I did not have very high hopes about this, um, mostly because he had told me that they're very selective on who they work with, who they 
who they support because they want to make sure that it's theologically sound um, and that it's written well and it's relatable and all those things. And so I'm going into it and I'm like, I have never wrote a book before in my life. There's no way they're going to like this. I probably made a million errors. I was so anxious about it. And so a couple days later, they called me about my manuscript, and he had so many good things to say that I, like, broke down in tears in that meeting because I knew that this was God confirming that this is what he wanted me to do. Because I'm still, like, I'm just making this up. There's no way. You know how you do when you feel like you're not qualified for what God's called you to do? You make a million excuses. That's what I was doing. I was making a million excuses. And so to hear them praise what I had written, you know, about my relationship with Christ and my love for Christ, that was confirmation for me that this was the right path that God was driving me on, and I was losing it, right? And then, quite a little bit more when they told me the price. Their smallest package with no advertising is $5,000. $5,000. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, there's no way. There's no way because I'm a teacher. You know, I do social media, but it's not super lucrative for me. I'm a teacher. There's no way, right? And so he's telling me that in order to sign the contract, I've got to put down a little over $1,000. And I'm thinking, I don't even have that, Lord. I don't even have that. I don't even have $1,000 in my savings, Lord. What do you want me to do? And so full force, I start fundraising. I make this group on Facebook, and it's my prayer partners, and I start posting, like, excerpts of my book, and this is what I'm trying to do, and this is what God's calling me to do. Got several donations there. Um, we started selling t-shirts. I sold t-shirts for the school that I work at, and for Arkansas, that's the state I'm in. I sold, I designed and sold these. These represent my book. It says freedom, and then on the back, there's a quote from my book. I was doing the work. I was putting the work in to make this happen. My kids even went door to door selling suckers. We had made personal little tags and we ended up raising right on the thousand dollars. And so I called back the publisher and I'm like, I've got the thousand dollars. I'm ready to put it down. I'm ready to pay the deposit and let's set up a payment plan for say six months. Right. I put that yes on the table and I'm stressing because I'm like, even six months, putting four thousand dollars over six months, I don't know if I'm going to make it, but I'm trusting that God is going to provide it, right? And so, now that I put that yes on the table, that means I can submit my full um, manuscript and they can start working on it, right? And so, the next day, I get a call um, from someone that I had gone to church with in high school. And they said they, they had something for me and wanted to meet up with me. And so, they drove an hour to come see me and met me in a parking lot. And they ended up writing me a check for the rest of the balance to publish my book. Like, is that not confirmation enough? I'm telling you, I wept and wept and wept and I cried because here I was a month ago telling God, no, I wasn't going to write this book. I, w I couldn't do it. I wasn't able to. I couldn't afford it. And within three weeks, the book was written. And within a month, it was completely funded. I'm telling you, mind blown, I was praising the Lord. I think my faith grew so much based on that. And so, that was August, September. Come to find out, in January, my book, or the book that the Lord blessed me with, was released, and I sold over 100 copies of author copies. But you can also get it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, anywhere. If you look at my book, there's bookstores I've never even heard of that are listing it. Isn't that insane, right? And so, January is a, is a full year from when God started calling me to write this book. And here it is, and it's full display, as, as God told me to do it, and he gave me exactly what I needed, and it happened, and it's real, and I still can't believe it's real. Like, I can't believe I'm holding it right here, and it's real. And it's, it's exactly what I, I envisioned, because I wanted it to feel like you were talking to a friend. I wanted it to feel like you were confining with a friend all the ugly things about ourselves that we're afraid to say, you know, maybe. I talk a lot about shame in here and falling into the same sin over and over and over again. And I share really dark parts of myself that were hard to talk about. And I was scared to release that into the world, but I got so many calls after this book was published of people telling me that they felt heard and seen in the impact of these words. And I'm just mind blown that the Lord could use me who has ADHD and can't 
finish a project or anything and has so much anxiety about failure could use me to publish something that would make a difference in people's lives. And I hope this encourages you to whatever God is calling you to, no matter what's scary, how big, how large, how small, whatever it is, that you would follow in obedience in what God calls you to do. Because He is not going to call you somewhere without providing the means to make it happen, right? And so I am challenging you to listen to the obedience, listen in obedience to what God has called you to do, Likewise, I also would love for you to read my book. If you have read it, if you could please give me a positive review. Let me know what you think of it. I've had a great time hanging out with y'all. I'm sorry that I had to do this video twice, even though y'all probably don't know anything about it. But I'm sorry to myself that I had to do it twice. Um, if you are new here, make sure you check out my TikTok account. I share lots over there. I'm uh, excited to be here on YouTube, and I will be starting back my Bibles for Beginners very soon. So, uh, thank you for hanging out. Follow, watch a couple of videos if you want, and I'll see you next time.